Welcome collectors and hobby enthusiasts. In today's video, you're going to get a two for one. We're going to be reviewing two classic construction models, one to 48 scale cat scrapers. Let's begin with the CCM Cat 631E wheel tractor scraper. The real scraper was introduced in the 1980s and the 631E combined speed and mobility with substantial earth moving prowess. These scrapers moved material much more efficiently than dozers over large distances. It was powered by a four-stroke 3408 turbocharged V8 engine, which produced 450 horsepower and could get the scraper moving at speeds in excess of 30 miles per hour. Empty, this behemoth weighed in at 95,500 pounds, but when full, it tipped the scales at 171,000 pounds. That's information about the real scraper. Let's turn our attention to the CCM model. It's limited to 750 pieces made worldwide. It is made in die cast in 148 scale. This is a closed edition model originally released in 2013. Back then the MSRP was $249.95 US. Some of the functions associated with this model that we will turn our attention to now. You probably already noticed one of them and that is a opening operator's door, which you can see here is replicated very well, and it has that kind of beige or tan interior typical of cat machines from this time period. And when it spins back around, I will show you the intricate cab detail. You'll see the gear levers, you'll see the steering wheel, you'll see some foot pedals. So as you can see right here, there's also a warning label. Here's the seat, the steering wheel, the levers inside. Again, it may be a little bit difficult to see, but they are in there, and it's very well replicated indeed. We'll close that door for now. You can see that the fit and finish is good. Another opening compartment is this engine panel. This one is a little bit more difficult to open, but with a pointer tool, you can see that you can open it. And inside, you can see some oil filters and some other engine detail. We'll let that spin just for a second. Here's another thing that you may have noticed, and this is something that should be on all high-end die-cast scale models, and it's great to see on here. Take a look at these tires. You see that? We've got some name brand lettering on the side. This specific one reads Goodyear, as you can see there, as it hits the light. Okay. Some more features on this include intricately detailed hydraulic lines across the gooseneck mechanism and leading to the scraper bowl cylinders. You'll see that as well on the 637, the twin engine version of this model that you'll see here in a minute. The hand and grab rails as well as the stairs, all of these, as you can hear, are metal and not plastic, typical of CCM models back during this time period. The decal application, whether it's the Block C for 631E, there's your Pac-Man logo or Caterpillar written across the front. Caterpillar here is done in very crisp and nice lettering. Okay, let's turn our attention now to the primary function of the actual scraper bowl itself. Here it's in the raised position, but carefully you can drop it down into a working function, as you can see here. And the ejector mechanism can be made to go forward as well, or back as you saw it before. And you can also lift the apron up as well to have the material coming out. So a very functional model. Again, with these cylinders, you wanna do a little bit of care. Initially, getting this out of the box, the cylinders here and dropping this was very, very stiff. So you actually had to apply a pretty fair amount of pressure on it. But then again, again, even when doing that, you just wanna be really, really careful. As with most CCM models, not only do you get a museum quality replica, but you also get a spec brochure. This is serial number 233 out of 750 in the production run that I mentioned. And inside it just has some more information on the real 631E, which is always great to keep if you are a collector. Here's the backside as well, if you're interested in that. Okay, let's pause momentarily and we'll bring in, when we come back, we'll bring in the 637E, which is the twin engine version of this particular scraper. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back after this short break. Welcome back, everyone, and thank you for sticking with me. You'll notice immediately that the 637E twin engine wheel tractor scraper by CCM is a notably larger and longer model than the 631 that we just saw. 
Also introduced in the 1980s, the 637E came equipped with a four-stroke 3408 turbocharged V8 motor, which also put out 450 horsepower, but this one came with a rear six-cylinder 250 3308 engine as well. Empty, this model weighed in at 113,500 pounds, and fully loaded, it tipped the scales at 190,500 pounds. So again, a much larger scraper than the 631. This model was also made and limited to 750 pieces, made in 148 scale die cast, also released back in 2013. The original MSRP on this one was slightly more expensive at $259.95. Same as the 631, it, this tooling shares a lot of similarities, but there are some differences as well. We'll go over those. It has the same period accurate markings, decals, and paint, the same detailed operator's cab, the same working bowl apron and reject and ejector, rather, a functioning gooseneck. Also has the serial numbered brochure. So you'll see here that it's 304 out of 750. Again, just a very brief, I know it's not the best. But just to give you a quick brief overview of what's inside. By the way, if you have the few of you that I can count on one hand that are interested in the packaging for this, it is the more modern style cat box with the, uh, since this came out in 2013, it had the cat power stripe or power edge graphic on it uh, for those of you that are interested in those details. So the basic differences associated with this scraper versus the 631 is that this has a second engine in the rear, and it's configured in a push-pull setup. A brief description of that for the new viewers and those that may not be totally familiar with it, this is a technique that Caterpillar devised in order to move a lot of material more effectively. Two of these scrapers would essentially hook on to each other, and this loop would hook on to the back portion of another scraper. So the front scraper would fill itself up first, and once the bowl is full, he would lift up his bowl, and then he would essentially pull along the second scraper while he pulls his bowl full. And that way, it again, you're moving twice as much material, much more effectively, much quicker, and it reduces the amount of time or the chance that the two machines may potentially get stuck in whatever material they're working in. So that's essentially the basic difference. You'll also see there's a spill guard on this one that was absent on the 631. My overall closing thoughts and opinion on these scrapers. Today, with the appreciation value of CCM models, you're lucky to find either of these in a new or like new condition for under $1,000 each, which is a lot of money. Let's just totally be honest, especially when both of these retailed for about $260, give or take, uh, each. I don't necessarily, in good faith, believe that they're worth $1,000 each. I was very fortunate enough to purchase mine secondhand, but in great shape, so I didn't pay anywhere near that. Um, and I wouldn't recommend, I guess what I'm trying to say, I wouldn't recommend that you guys pay that much either unless you absolutely have to have a model of the 637E or the 631E. Are they spectacular? Typical CCM museum quality pieces, yes they are. The functionality is very good. The quality of paint and decal work is top notch as we've seen before. The opening compartments, whether it be the engine hatch on the other side or the operator's cab on this side is also good. And obviously the intricate hydraulic line detail is top notch as well. So those are my thoughts on these two E-Series scrapers. You guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.